Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, and in this snappy video, we're going to learn all about easing in Adobe XD. Rightio, first let's search for the definition of easing. If we look at number two, it says to move carefully or gradually. Ease, 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 ease. Exactly. Now, easing in the context of animation is very similar. For example, does the animation slow down towards the end or does it ramp up towards the beginning? And this can be controlled by adjusting the easing. So now let's hop into XD and take a look at no easing. Here you can see I have two artboards and two red balls. In prototype mode, I've linked these together with an auto animate and there is no easing. And as you can see, my bouncing ball animation is definitely lacking something, which leads me on to basic easing. Okay, so two more artboards, two more balls. If I click the first one, you can see they're linked with an auto animate transition. And the first easing type is set to ease out and the second one ease in. This means that as we go from artboard one to two, our animation will slow down towards the end. And as we go from two to one, it will slow down at the beginning and then gradually ramp up the speed. Now this definitely gives a better bouncing ball animation. And next I'm going to do something a tad more complicated with some advanced easing. Okay, lots of artboards, lots of balls. If I click these and go through them, you'll see that I start with ease out. I then move to ease in. I then go back to ease out and I'm adjusting the timing as well. So throughout this entire animation, the timing will start at 0.5 seconds, it will reduce to 0.3 and end with 0.1. This is to account for gravity because the ball will never bounce back to its original height. And because I'm using auto animate, you can see on some artboards, I've reduced the height of the ball. And this is just to make the ball look a little bit more bouncy squishy. Now creating something like this definitely takes practice and a little bit of tinkering with the easing and the duration settings. And if you'd like to download this XD file with all of the easing examples, I will link it in the video description. And if we play the animation, you can see we have a much more realistic bouncy ball animation. And there we go, that wraps up the video. So if you enjoyed today's look at balls and easing, why not click subscribe, ding the bell for more, take care, and I'll see you next time.